So Nvidia made some pretty huge announcements to counter the cryptocurrency mining boom and the subsequent supply outages that are affecting its GeForce line of graphics cards. Now the company not only announced a dedicated line of GPUs under the CMP or Crypto Mining Processor banner, but it also revealed that their upcoming graphics cards from the GeForce line will be nerfing its hash rate by a huge margin to stop miners from gouging up the stock. Now the company has given more information on how all of this is going to work. And according to Nvidia's Brian Del Rizzo, it looks like the cryptocurrency mining nerf is more than a driver limit. Now many people, including ourselves, assumed that this was the state based on the announcement where it was stated that the software drivers were designed to detect specific attributes of the Ethereum mining algorithm, as it happens to be the most popular algorithm with the highest efficiency and profit rates right now, and limits the hash rate by around 50%. Now considering that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 is aimed at the mainstream segment and early reports show it would offer mining performance on par of the RTX 3070 after some tuning of course, it has gone without a doubt going to be one of the hottest sellers for the mining market. But that would mean that many gamers would be saving up to get the card at launch, wouldn't be able to do so. However, with the new limit, NVIDIA could divert miners away from the gaming cards and purchase their dedicated CMP lineup. So back to the drivers part again. BDR states that the driver is just one part of the limit. The whole process occurs through a secure handshake between the GPU, the driver, and the BIOS being on the firmware side. All three prevent the removal of the hash rate limiter. Now, Nvidia is quite confident that this would be enough to tackle miners running GeForce GPUs, but at the same time, we can't be too sure without the overall effectiveness of this as vBIOS mods could al potentially allow miners to bypass the limit once again. Now, in addition to all of this, there are rumors floating around that NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3060 is only the beginning. More Ampere and future GeForce gaming products could have the, well, they could have that in there as well. This doesn't mean that a new driver on existing cards will limit its hash rate, but a new SKU or existing graphics card with a new device ID could offer a similar limit. So to make things clear, your existing RTX 30 series card running with your PC won't be affected by this even if you install the new drivers, but if you go out and buy a new one that's received a new ID or a SKU update, well, now it could be limited. Now this means that all GPUs, whether new or those that are produced after the previous update, need to be tested and evaluated again. This has been seen with GeForce RTX 3060 by users who already have their hands on the cards. YouTuber and retailer CryptoLeo demonstrated how the GeForce RTX 3060 gets crippled within a few seconds. The mining hash rate from the card goes from 41.5 mega hashes in Ethereum down to just 24 mega hash per second in just a couple of minutes. Now do note that no new drivers for this card were released yet, but this just shows that there's more than just software in action to detecting this and, well, taking care of the business, I guess you could say. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.